Today I'm going to show you how to do Bitcoin mining on a Mac. Uh, it can be a laptop or a desktop, like whatever, just running the Mac operating system. I think it has to be at least, uh, if you check your uh, about this Mac, I think it has to be at least 10.6 to work uh, because of OpenCL requirements. So uh, if you have a laptop that's too old to take 10.6 or higher, then you really can't be mining on your laptop. And even 10.6, I think it only works some of the time. So uh, if you're having problems, leave a message in the uh, in the comments and I'll try and help you out. But uh, it's extremely easy because I'm updating from my old uh, method to a newer one using GUI Miner, and that's so much simpler. So first, uh, you'll just have to go and download this program. Uh, it's called GUI Miner, and it's uh, and it, you can download it right from this link. I'll put the link in the description, or you can read it off here and plug it in, but it's too long for me to read off. Uh, and it's going to download this uh, .dmg, which is basically a, if you're a Windows person, it's a .exe, but for Macs, basically. So uh, while that's downloading, uh, we, you also need to set up a mining pool account. Uh, you can do solo mining, but I'm not going to get into that. It's much easier just to do pooled mining. So uh, what you do is go to your favorite uh, mining uh, pool site. I recommend Slush. And uh, that's just uh, mining.bitcoin.cz. A mining pool just kind of groups together people uh, to mine together so you get blocks faster and then you just get a smaller payout over time rather than one big payout when you find a block. It's really much better to do it with a pool but uh, if you want to do some research that's up to you. Uh, so if you go to mining.bitcoin.cz then you can just sign up with an account. I already have one and I'll, so I'll just log into mine here. Um, and once you're logged in, then there's going to be a option down at the bottom that, uh, or down at the bottom, it will show you your uh, mining accounts. And so I have this guest one set up here that will use this one. Uh, by default, it'll set up one that's called like Worker One, and you can just create a new account. Um, you'll also need to input your uh, your Bitcoin address up here. So whatever you put in there is what it will uh, what it will pay the Bitcoins to. So make sure that you uh, put in your Bitcoin address there. And then after that, then you can go to this part. Uh, this is almost done downloading. As soon as it's finished, then uh, we'll just extract it and run it. It's extremely simple to run. Um, so almost done. Okay, so now it's done. We can open up the downloads folder. And it's just this thing right here that's called GUI Miner dot slash Pockleboom, whatever, uh, dot DMG, and just double click on it. And it's going to extract it. And you do have to set your Mac to allow installing outside applications. I will put a uh, link in the description for another video of mine on, or probably a link right here, on how to do that. But uh, you should probably know how to do that already if you're doing Bitcoin mining. So, But if you double click on this, it gives you a warning about that. Then look for how to allow uh, outside applications. So then once you um, once you have this here, you can't just run it right from this DMG. You have to, sub uh, to extract it to somewhere. So what you can do is just drag it to your applications folder. I'm just going to put it to the desktop right now for ease of use, but uh, you can just put it anywhere. It just You can't leave it in this uh, uh, DMG here. So once it's extracted, you can just double click on it to run it. And I would give it a couple minutes to start up because it actually did crash my computer once when I didn't give it enough time. Or I'm not sure if it was because I didn't give it enough time, but something went weird. So uh, just give it a couple minutes. And uh, in this time, you can go and get your information that you need. So what I'm going to have is this is my worker username and then this is my password. So that's what I'm going to be needing to put into uh, the program. And what we have is slush, so we're going to need to change this to slush. But we'll make a new uh, a new worker basically on here to do that. So if you go to File, once you have GUI Miner open, you go to File, New Miner, New OpenCL Miner. If you really know what you're doing, then you can do like a CUDA or something like that, but if you're just, if you have no idea what you're doing, just select OpenCL. You can figure out the other stuff later. Um, and then you can just name it whatever you want. I'll just call it OpenCL. And so then you click on the OpenCL tab, and then you need to set up the settings for it. Like, we're going to need to change this to a slush uh, account, which that's all the way at the top, slushes pool. And it puts in all that information for us. 
and then we just need to put in our uh, username and password here. So mine is this, and then guest is the password. And then guest. And then for your device, uh, you can mine on your processor, but it's usually much, much slower than mining on your video card. My video card is this GeForce here. Uh, you might want to look up online what video card your laptop actually has, but uh, NVIDIA ones are usually much slower than ATI ones, but um, they both work. It's just um, the NVIDIA ones are going to be a little slower. So, and this is NVIDIA. So then once you have all that in, uh, inputted, then you can just hit start mining. And then you just have to give it a minute to start up. And then you can see it'll uh, just start opening your hash right here. Um, this is a little slower than I had it earlier. I had it like two megs. I'm not sure why it's slower. I might be uh, using extra resources because of my video uh, capture. That's probably what's using extra resources. Uh, but that's pretty slow. Um, the processor would actually do it just about that fast. Um, but usually you'll want a bit higher. But uh, that just depends on your hardware. And once you have that, you'll notice that this doesn't update automatically. Uh, like there's found block score mega hashes per second. It's saying that's zero, even though I've started, because they only update this once every round. So it depends on how many shares you do. There's weird math behind it. So you won't see this update like instantly. You wait like 10 hours of leaving this up before you look at this number, and it'll give you like an average number. And it'll be just about the same as this, maybe a little higher, a little lower. Uh, it's just kind of averaged over time. And uh, that's that's basically all there is to it. In the slushes pool up here, you can set when you want them to give you a payout. I just had a payout recently, so that's why it doesn't have any uh, anything in my unconfirmed reward or anything uh, right now. But uh, you can choose your threshold, and it'll uh, accumulate your funds here in your confirmed reward. Once this crosses whatever you have here, then it will send an, uh, a payment to this account. And uh, that's basically all there is to it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment.